Every so often you have to visit the work site to see if drying is running properly. With supervision you can now supervise, manage, change the settings and even put the machines to standby. This means that many more tasks can be done without spending extra time on the site or in the car. In addition, all data is registered in your cloud, therefore you can use this information at any time when necessary. Let's have a look what parameters are safe to the cloud and what settings on the machine we can actually use. Let's enter selected test project. As you can see, we, we have currently two machines running and three machines are offline. We also have uh, three sensor nodes, each consisting of two sensors. And this is very important. Sensors can be named and we always advise everyone to name them during the installation so you know uh, where they're actually placed. The sensors are responsible for registering uh, selected parameters. In this case, absolute humidity, dew point, mixing ratios, relative humidity and temperature. At any time you can actually enter selected parameters and, and see it over the timeline. Um, and also you, you are able to focus on selected dates. If for some reason this particular period of time is interesting from your point of view. If necessary, you can export this graph to JPEG, PDF or any format available on the drop-down list. As you can see, not only sensor nodes, but also the dryers are responsible for registering selected parameters. In this case, A4ES is registering energy consumption, as well as ambient temperature, mixing ratios, dew point, relative humidity and absolute humidity. And again, you can expand this view and see the details. Let's have a look now how you can actually manage the machine from your phone, your tablet, or your laptop. As you can see, after entering device settings, we have a couple of features that enable you to actually manage the machine. For example, put the machine on standby or determine the time frame in which the machine should work on a regular basis and then switch into quiet mode or switch into standby if for some reason you want the machine to stop working for some time. Additionally, you can change control modes of the dryer. And for example, if you choose relative humidity mode, you can create a desired set point. Furthermore, you can change the capacity mode of the dryer and for example, switch it to Delta X1 if you want to produce really dry air. Thank you for watching this quick overview and please make sure to visit us at coreventa.com.